All right, time for sports. Myers here with that in mind. Let's throw some basketball for you tonight, Hudson. Not since 2008 has the Camosun Chargers men's basketball team been considered one of the elite in Pac West. But something special has taken place on the hardwood at the Pacific Institute for Sport Excellence. The Chargers finished the season in third spot and are poised to make some serious noise this weekend at the Pac West Championships. Take care of business that day. The rest <coughs> doesn't matter. Coach Price firing up his team while the men were getting in one final practice this afternoon before catching the ferry to the mainland. They open the tournament tomorrow against Douglas College, a team they went 2-0 against in the regular season. They will need to win their first matchup to keep going in the tournament. And if the Chargers get hot, look out. They have all the makings of a team that could compete for some hardware. Their size and skill is obvious, but their team chemistry may be what sets them apart from the competition. Playing as a team has been the biggest thing this year. And um, yeah, moving the ball, trusting each other and, and working hard. That's, that's what we try and base everything on. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can continue that. We have good kids who want to work really hard, who want to be good people and who play hard. You battle and you go home knowing you left it all there and that's it. Uh, I've been preaching family since I got here, and we've been working really hard at, at that. And I think it's getting there, and our leaders are getting better. They hold themselves accountable. Hold themselves accountable. Uh, hold each other accountable. Well, the players' hard work has paid off with some individual awards, starting with the man who runs the floor, Jordan Elvadal, was named second team All Star. First year forward, Trevor Sherman. Finished eighth in league scoring and was named to the all rookie team. And six foot six, James Blanford took home Pac West Rookie of the Year honors. He was a monster on the boards, averaging eight rebounds per game. It's, uh, it's always nice for the uh, league to kind of recognize your uh, dedication to the sport. It's all about the team. Uh, these guys, we've got a great group of guys, and um, you know what? I couldn't ask for uh, a better family. I mean, on and off the court. He's an extremely good athlete. But at the same point, he's very humble, he understands the game, and he works hard. So I think those things are what may, you know, play into success as well as the talent level. The Victoria Royals will get another chance to even their series with the Spokane Chiefs tonight. The Royals let two points slip away in the third period of last night's game. Now, despite the loss, they didn't lose any ground in the playoff picture. Both Prince George and Seattle were losers as well. So Victoria maintains their three-point lead on that final playoff spot. Oh, and it started out so promising at Save on Foods Memorial Center. Just over five minutes in, Dakota Conroy keeps chipping away at the Tim Traver rebound. Make it one nothing. Royals. Jared Rathjen has been the better of the two Victoria goalies as of late, and he got the start again last night. Tough to fault him here. He makes the first three saves. Mitch Holmberg pots the rebound, and it's one all. Chiefs up 2-1 in the third when Jamie Crooks calls Bank off a defender. His team leading 33rd. Made it 2-2, but that's as good as it gets. Late in the third, Blake Gall pokes the puck past Rathjen. Chiefs at an empty netter and win 4-2 the final. Vancouver Island's favorite football son is coming home, and he's bringing the Grey Cup with him. Andrew Harris will be in Nanaimo on March 9th and 10th to host the inaugural Andrew Harris Skills Camp. The Grey Cup's top Canadian is excited to be passing on his knowledge to kids 7 to 14. No experience is necessary. Just bring your cleats or your sneakers, a packed lunch, and a hunger for football. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, it's a great opportunity for me to, to give back to the community that, uh, that helped me get to where I am right now. Um, you know, I love working with kids, and uh, I always remember going to these things when I was younger, and it was always a great experience for me. So I figured that uh, to, to come to do Nanaimo, I know there's not too many guys that do that in Nanaimo, so um, it's, it's exciting for me, and I, and I can't wait to see what the kind of turnout we have. It's kind of just a skills camp for these kids to, to come out, work on their skills, um, meet with some uh, higher-level coaches from the BC Lions, the UBC, the VI Raiders, and, uh, you know, have some fun, and uh, the great cup will be over. So... Uh, I'm looking forward to bringing the cup over and then sharing it with the community and, uh, you know, having some fun with it out there. Well, I would, I would like to get 150 to 200 kids, and uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, uh, the, the list is filling up pretty quickly now, so, um, you know, hopefully the, the more the merrier, and uh, there'll, there'll be lots of coaches out to help out, so I'm not too worried about being overwhelmed, uh, just making sure that the kids have fun and uh, it's a good environment for everyone. How do we sign up, and how much does it cost? You can go on www.andrewharris33.com. Uh, you can register there online, or you can show up at uh, the Comox Field on March 9th or 10th to, uh, to register. Registering starts at uh, 5 o'clock p.m. And uh, it's $60 for the camp. Uh, it includes uh, a camp jersey, water bottle, 
and uh, obviously a gr great chance to get a picture with the Grey Cup and, uh, and share that with uh, Nanaimo. Great experience. Well, starting tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., curling fans can start purchasing their ticket packs for the 2013 Ford Men's World Curling Championship. The organizing committee carefully structured flexible ticket options that will allow fans to maximize the curling experience for the nine-day event. Well, pack one is the opener. It includes two tickets for the first 11 draws for $279. Pack two is the champ and features a pair of seats for the last 11 draws for $389. And there's the old classic a single ticket to all 22 draws for 349 event packages can be purchased online at curling.ca backslash tickets and of course if you get a ticket pack that allows you into the patch mm. where the live entertainment and the food and uh, the stories take place lots of fun that was so so much fun last time huh it was great in 05 and it's going to be bigger and better this time so. all right all right my thank you you're welcome